Hi guys, this is John. I am the lead coder for Obsidian PC and uh, today we will be checking out our updater software. So, while the, um, the updater software seems like uh, a very simple application to install drivers and uh, in some cases update the, the BIOS and EC firmware, uh, there's actually some some more stuff going on in the background. The first thing that the updater does when you open it up um, is related to your Windows 10 build number. Okay, basically it will check what's your build number and uh, it will let you know if you first need to update your Windows version so that uh, all our drivers uh, will be compatible with it. So we added this um, very recently because some users were uh, reporting that when they tried to install some drivers it was showing um, an error telling uh, that the driver was not compatible with the Windows version. So we added this and um, this will check it for you and if you need to update Windows first it will display a message and you can just click it and it will go to the Windows update window like this and uh, it will allow you to, to update. Okay so then we have the main drivers it's not just uh, 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 you click and it installs the driver and that's it. No, there's there's actually a lot of stuff going on in the background uh, because some drivers can be a little bit problematic when you install them. For instance, the the chipset driver is is one of those that usually will require you to also update the um, the Intel management. Uh, interface which is the second driver uh, it, usually it also disables the touchpad so we'll install both drivers in one go and then it will enable your touchpad um, that's one of, of the features in in this one but then there's a lot of other stuff going on in in the other drivers so basically Every time that, that we find out about a, a certain problem with a, with a driver where you need to do something more, something else to make it all work, we usually add that in the install process so that you basically don't have any, any problem. So to update the driver it's, it's quite simple, you just press update, it will download. then. Uh, the first time it will show you this this message and basically what this means is that to install a driver we need uh, admin access because some users wanted to be able to use the the, the updater software in a non-admin account so in a non-admin account you basically won't be able to install a driver because well, because you need admin access to install it. So the updater itself does not require it. You can start the app without it. But if you want to install a driver, then this will show up and you need to say yes if you want the updater to actually update. And if you say no, like this, it will basically open the driver's folder and then well you can manually install the driver once you you log in with a, an admin account or you can just copy copy the, any driver to a USB pen or something like that okay so if we allow the admin access like this it will ask you for admin it will restart and it will automatically start installing the last driver you downloaded, like this. Ok, 
okay that one is done so basically for all drivers the process is the same obviously once you 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 give it admin access uh, the next driver you try to install it won't ask you again it has already started with admin access so no point in in asking again so as you see you just click the update button it will download it will start the install um, and, and and that's it for the BIOS well this is a feature that is usually only available for Obsidian PC laptops or for partners um, who are offering our software to their clients also so the uh, the BIOS update process is actually very simple it will first thing you need to do is check security um, it will check uh, normal stuff like if the laptop is connected to the AC adapter the, it will check if the current selected uh, laptop model is actually the one that your BIOS is reporting and if all checks out then you can flash it okay the, the flash process we are not going to to do that now uh, because basically it would stop the video recording uh, but basically what it does is it will download uh, a BIOS package it then will check for a lot uh, of uh, problematic applications that might be open applications that for instance might be using your EC uh, and, and that's something you don't want we have a big list of those and we check for them we terminate them uh, we then uh, try to lock the EC we, we set the fans at max speed and only then we start the flash process and basically that's it we actually never have uh, a single brick so and we, we actually been using this for like two years uh, and we never had any single problem and at the moment the flash process is, is done in one go and it makes the whole process simple so that's it then you have some settings normal settings I think quite easy to understand you can set the app to start with Windows you can make it start um, even and by even it's even here like this it will start in the system tray and then you just have to double click it and we, it will show up you can enable notifications which will work like this they are standard windows notifications just to let you know that you have an update i usually don't enable this because it can can be annoying as you are seeing now okay do not show exit dialog the exit dialog is basically this so if you select this it will not show the exit dialog and it will exit okay the keep local drivers copy it's basically if you want to delete the downloaded driver after you install it or not okay in the about tab you can check your current version and the latest available um, if there's any update you can just click update and it will update don't forget to make sure your your model uh, is uh, the model selection is is your actual model and don't forget to select your wireless cards so you can check usually you can check which card you have uh, by going to the device manager like this and then go to the network adapters and 
here it is okay in this case it's 9260 so let's select it okay now you will have the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers also available which you can also update and yeah that's it that's basically it it's quite simple software most of the um, the tricky parts are on the in the background so you don't have to worry about them um, we try to make this as simple as possible we also update it very regularly so um, you just need to be sure you have the latest version uh, if you don't, as soon as you open it, it will show you a message and ask you to update. Um, and that's it. Thank you for your time.